Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you the learning path for building React Spring Boot Fullstack web application. Well, probably know that there's a high demand for Fullstack developer, uh, you know, and the salary is high for Fullstack developer if you compare with backend developer or frontend developer. If you want to become a React Spring Boot Fullstack developer, then you are in the right place. In this video, I'm going to tell you what are the tools and technologies that you can learn to work on react spring boot web application development i'm going to tell you all the bare minimum things that you need to know to get started uh, with you know building react spring boot uh, full stack application without further ado let's get started this diagram shows the learning path for building react spring boot full stack web application well i have tried my level best to keep all the tools and technologies for building a react spring boot full stack web application development guys but you may encounter a few more advanced libraries and tools and technologies whenever you will work on a real time react spring boot full stack web application okay and here i have you know listed out all the bare minimum things that you need to uh, you know kick start uh, with react spring boot full stack web application at end of this video i want to suggest you few courses that you can check out for learning react spring boot full stack web application development all right well if you can see here this is the full stack application architecture at the back end we have spring boot application at the front end we have react application so first we'll go through what are the tools and technologies and libraries that are required to develop a react application and then then later on we'll move to or, you know the tools technologies and libraries required to build a spring boot application the prerequisites for developing react application is you need to know first the web fundamentals well here you can see html css and javascript so these are the web fundamentals that you need to know before developing any front end application all right so make sure that you have a basic understanding of html css and javascript before developing a react application next you need an id so there are many ideas out there for developing a react application but here i have listed a few common ones visual studio code id is very very popular guys and it's a free and open source so many of the front end developers are you know using visual studio code id so I highly suggest you guys to check out VS Code ID that is Visual Studio Code ID for re developing React application. And you can also, you know, you can also check out WebStorm or Sublime Text. But Visual Studio Code ID, I know it provides a lot of extension guys which simplifies React application web development. So go ahead and check out Visual Studio Code ID. So next we need a package manager and a build a front-end build a management. So for that go ahead and check out npm or yarn so we typically use npm or yarn to install the javascript packages and libraries in our, in our react application next check out create a react app cli so this is the command line interface that we basically use to quickly create a react application and to quickly start the react application okay and create react app cli provides the standard react application project structure okay and this is one of the official supported way for creating a react application so go ahead and check out create react app cli tool to create a react application next ui libraries well here i have listed a few uh, you know popular ui libraries that you can use in your react application material ui bootstrap css framework and ant design so ant design is a very popular library guys uh, you can it, it provides a lot of out of the box components that we can use in a react application okay and bootstrap css is a well-known uh, css framework for building responsive websites and web application so go ahead and check out bootstrap css framework and material ui is also you know very popular a library nowadays for building the user interface all right go ahead and check out these three uh, ui libraries that are quite popular in case of developing a react application so there are many ui libraries out there but i have just listed a few of the common ones over here so next we have react hooks http libraries redux react router farming so whenever you develop a react application you encounter all these things okay 
so react hooks allows us to use state and other react features in a functional component so in a react we have two types of components right class component and you know functional component well we can define a state in a class component but we cannot define state in a functional component but react hooks allows us to use state in a functional component okay so just check out react hooks nowadays our react hooks are very popular you know react application development guys just go ahead and check out react hooks next http libraries well react is just a javascript library so whenever you want to make a jax call or a HTTP call in your react application you have to use third party http library for example there are a lot of http libraries available for instance axios http library or you can use a plain javascript function that is a fetch function to make a jax call or a HTTP call okay next redux so if you want to manage a state uh, in your react application then go ahead and use redux redux store is basically very useful guys if you want to maintain a uh, if you want to maintain a state in a single place in your react application then go ahead and use redux state management library next we have react router well if you want to configure routing in your react application go ahead and use react router library next we have farming so if you want to create a forms if you want to handle a form then go ahead and you check out formic library all right so these are the bare minimum things that you need to know whenever you develop a react application and uh, whenever you develop a react real-time application then you might encounter a few more libraries as per your requirement okay now let's take a look into what are the tools and technologies that are required to develop a real-time spring boot rest endpoints well, you should know about Spring Core basics like dependency injection, IOC, AOP, Spring Bean, Spring Beans lifecycle, Spring configuration styles like Java based configuration, annotation configuration. And next, you should know about Spring MUC because we use Spring MUC to develop our web applications and RESTful web services. So, you should know about Spring MUC, you know how it works and how dispatcher solid internally works. Alright and spring data gpa so if you want to connect your spring boot application with mysql database or any other relational databases then go ahead and check out spring data gpa spring data gpa internally uses hibernate as a gpa provider and spring data gpa you know simplifies a lot to develop a DAO layer or a repository layer in our spring boot application okay and you need an ide to develop a spring boot application so i highly recommend you guys to either use integer idea or eclipse sts ide so so these are the two popular IDs that typically developer uses to you know, develop a Spring Boot application or a Java application. Next, I suggest you to use a DTO to transfer data between client and server and check out Lombok library to reduce the boilerplate code. And we need a dependency, man dependency management tool and build a management tool, right? So you can use either Maven or Gradle. Okay. And next, you can choose a relational database or NoSQL database. So here I have listed few commonly used relational databases like MySQL database, PostgreSQL database, MariaDB. There, there are other relational databases out there like Oracle, okay, MS Server. And you can also use a NoSQL database as per your requirement, okay. And if you want to secure your REST APIs, then go ahead and check out Spring Security with JWT token based authentication. And if you want to use a social, you know, uh, login in your application, then go ahead and check out OAuth. So next, you need a Git or a SVN. So Git is very popular, guys, uh, for version as a version control system. So go ahead and check out Git. And alternatively, many of the organization uses SVN as well. Okay, so go ahead and check out Git and SVN for as a version control system. And if you want to deploy your full stack application, then go ahead and check out either. AWS cloud or Heroku cloud okay you can also use Google cloud or Azure well if you want to build a real-time REST APIs using Spring Boot and all these technologies then you can check out my paid course so I have hosted a course that is building real-time REST APIs with Spring Boot uh, on Udemy so you can go ahead and check out this course in this course I have used all these you know tools and technologies to build a real-time rest api using spring boot i have used a real-time approach for building spring boot application guys so go ahead and check out this course and recently i have hosted on udemy all right and the price is also feasible 
so go ahead and check out it's around 14 hours course and uh, yeah if i have you know made few of the videos as a preview so you can check out few free view videos first and then you can enroll to this course okay great all right guys these are the tools and technologies that you need to learn for building a react spring boot full stack web application well i'm going to suggest you few free courses that you have to check out for learning how to build react spring boot full stack web application development well on my top channel i have published two absolutely free courses for building you know react spring boot full stack development so let me show you so go to my youtube channel java guides and go to playlist section okay and just search for react just spring boot crude full stack application so this is the playlist guys it contains around 25 videos and this course is very very popular on my youtube channel okay and if you are beginner and want to develop a complete full stack development using react and spring boot then i highly suggest you guys to check out this course okay so this is around three hour course guys and i'm damn sure that you will learn a lot of stuff in this course okay so if you are beginner then check out this course once you take this course then go ahead and check out my second course that is quite advanced course so here is here is the course react hooks spring boot crude full stack application if you want to use the react hooks in your react application then i highly suggest you guys to check out this course so in this course i have used IntelliJ idea for building spring boot application and i have used react hooks in a react application okay so as per your requirement you can check out these two courses and these two courses are absolutely free on my youtube channel and i'm pretty sure that you will learn a lot of stuff about full stack development using react and spring boot okay and if you are new to my youtube channel consider subscribing i want to publish a lot of free courses a lot of stuff on this channel okay guys thanks for watching i will see you in the next video